Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about a very controversial film called Wild Weed, which was produced in the United States in 1949. It is an exploitation film which talks about the dangers of marijuana. And the old films, they had a very special way of being creepy. Maybe because it was made in black and white, maybe because of the background music, which was a little bit scary. But the old films, they really knew how to be scary sometimes. And it is the case with this film. However, it is a film denouncing the danger of drugs and how bad it is. So it's important and it's valuable anyway. So the film talks about a character called Annie Lester. Annie Lester, she was an orphan dancer and she worked to try to pay for the college attendance of her younger brother. All was going well with her. Someday, one of her friends of the dancing group, she was approached by a guy who seemed to be very shady and he insisted that this colleague invited Anne to her house to a party. Anne said that she couldn't attend any party because her brother was about to arrive and that she was waiting for him. And her colleague said that it wasn't a problem, that the party would be in her house. Okay, this shade guy who was a friend of her colleague, he was Marky. And he was indeed a drug dealer. And he was trying to find someone else to be addicted, to bring someone else to this underground of drugs. And unfortunately, he succeeded. Firstly, everyone was smoking and Marky and Annie's colleague, they were pushing her to try. And uh, at first she didn't want it, she was scared but she thought that she was supposed to try so she could fit in with her friends. And since the beginning, it had a very bad effect on her because she lost all her inhibitions. She was often under the influence and it led her to lose all her self-respect and dignity even implying that she was engaging in sexual promiscuity. And Marky, this shady guy who was around the dancing girls, was actually a drug dealer, knowing that Annie worked to pay the college fees of her younger brother, he told her that uh, the drug was something wonderful and that with the money that she would make, she could easily pay for the college of her brother and blah, blah, blah. Unfortunately, Anne became hooked. And it came to a point where she was dismissed from her dancing club because the owner of the place claimed that uh, she could no longer dance well. So both Anne and her colleague, they lost their jobs in the dancing club. And then to earn a living, Anne started selling drugs for Marky. And then one day her brother arrived back home and found all that mess at home, including things that uh, indicated that Anne was involved with sexual promiscuity. Okay, he was very worried. It happened one day. Sometimes later, he was living with his sister. He arrived home and saw Anne in a party selling drugs. And he was extremely disturbed with that. And he reportedly took his own life after that. But Anne, she was so involved with drugs and with the underground that at first she didn't even have remorse. 
and her life sank more and more until one day she was arrested and she spent 15, not 15, 50 days in prison. And then the police chief talked to her, told her that she was a young girl, that she should leave her addiction, that she should leave the underground, otherwise she would be very sick and die. Of course, that Annie didn't want to listen to any sort of advice. Then the police chief showed her other inmates and how sick and how and how lost in life they were how they ended up in psychiatric institutions how they destroyed their futures and at first Annie didn't care and reacted angry however she would stay 50 years in prison she had a monotonous routine and she had enough time to think about her brother, to finally feel remorse, to get totally desperate with what she was doing with her life, with the fact that it impacted her brother, who didn't have anything to do with that. And after a while, she left prison and she worked with the police so as a bait, so they could catch Marky and arrest him. And it's a film that it shows in a rather direct way why drugs, they are so horrible, why you should be away from them, that information is the tool, especially young people, they should know everything about the bad effects of the drug. So they would resist the temptation. They wouldn't get involved with that. And something else, in the real life, the actress who played Annie Lester, she was called Lila Leeds. Lila Leeds, the actress in real life, she was arrested the year before for smoking marijuana. And it was a very publicized case. Robert Mitchum, the famous classic actor, he was with her, he was arrested too. And it's a film that it's not easy to see. It's painful to see young people getting completely lost for drugs, losing their dignity, but um, everything and anything against drugs is important, even if it seems too creepy. And it's a film that I recommend. It lasts around one hour and a half. It's a little bit painful, but the educative function of this film is important and it will always be important. And I think you're going to like this. The acting is good. The plot is typical of the era, so you can get more acquainted with old films. It's recommended. And that's all for now, folks. See you.